Queen Elizabeth II was a big fan of brooches. They often complimented her outfits at official events. She had a special fondness for brooches in the form of bows, which, made in different styles and variations, she had an impressive collection. It is therefore not surprising that many ladies attending the Queen's funeral chose brooches as jewellery, and two of them had gorgeous diamond bows that deserve our close attention. By the way, one of these no-exaggeration works of art is related to the British royal family. To honour the memory of Elizabeth arrived monarchs from all over the world, among them the King and Queen of Belgium. It was Queen Mathilde who caught my eye with her stunningly skillful diamond brooch. It looks like a lace ribbon tied with a bow, and look at how skillfully the craftsmen have filigraphed the curves of the real fabric. If it weren't for the brilliance of the diamonds, you'd think it was lace. The jewelry looks like the creation of masters of the 19th century. However, its exact origin is not known. Perhaps it has long been dusty in the royal treasury or was acquired recently. It is also very likely that the jewelry was loaned to the queen, which is a very common practice. My attention was attracted by another gorgeous bow, whose history is clearer. It was on the chest of Shaika Anna bint Muhammad Al Thani. The House of Al Thani is part of the royal family of Qatar. Sheikh Hamad, the son of Shaika Anna, is a cousin of the current Emir of Qatar. In general, people are not simple, and so much so that Sheikh Hamad even hosted Queen Elizabeth in his London home. Uncomplicated and very rich, owners of collections of stunning jewellery. Among them was a bow brooch that has some very interesting roots. Apparently, the brooch was created in the 19th century and belonged to Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna. Then the jewellery was inherited by her daughter Princess Marina, Duchess of Kent. Princess Marina wore the brooch very often. For example, she wore it at the coronation of King George VI in 1937, and then in 1953 at the coronation of Elizabeth II. Symbolically, the brooch also appeared at the funeral of the Queen of Great Britain. The jewellery is on many photos of Princess Marina, so we can be sure that Shaika Anna's jewellery is either the same brooch or similar to it as two drops of water. How could the jewellery get from the British royal family's pockets to the Qatari one? Elementary Watson. After Princess Marina's death, the brooch was sold at auction by her children. Officially, it is considered that the proceeds went to pay the inheritance tax. The buyer was American collector Jane Reitzman. In December 2012, Jane Reitzman, his collection of jewellery was put up for auction at Sotheby's in New York. Among the lots was a brooch of Princess Marina, it was purchased by an anonymous buyer. We can assume that he was Al Tanis or someone who later resold the brooch to the Qatari family. I wonder if the late Queen's family paid attention to their former jewellery.